Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm checking out your feedback. Now, I get tons of feedback about recent hack tips, and here are a few of the ones that are my favorite tips and tricks from you guys. First off is Robert. He says, I like to use jobs tag L and kill tag 9, PID number, to kill any stop jobs. So, what he's saying is jobs tag L and he presses that, or he can use kill tac 9 and then put in the PID, which would be something like 1234 at the end, to kill any of those stop jobs. Very interesting, thank you, Robert. Next up is Brian. He says, you can spice up your history with very nifty time stamping, and I did test this out so I know it works. First off, you open up your terminal like I did in mine, and second, you type in sudo gedit slash etc, sudo gedit, slash etc slash bash dot bash rc and enter. Put in your password for sudo and this is going to bring up gedit with the bash rc file. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. All right, so in here you want to look for the shopt tac s line. So I'm just going to Control F for that, tag S. So it's right there. And right underneath that, he says to type in export hist for history time format equals percentage A, percentage B, percentage D, tac percentage R space, and then end it with your quotation marks. Once you're done with that, you go ahead and save it like normal and don't change the name, close. And you want to go ahead and reopen your terminal. So I'm going to close this terminal, reopen it, new session, and let me make this a little bit bigger. Now if you type in history, instead of the really boring old one that only has about two columns, now you have actual history files with timestamps and the date, Wednesday, February 20th, and then the date the time, PM, and gedit. You can see I've been using lots and lots of gedit recently, lately. Very, very interesting. Thank you so much for sending that in. Now, next up is Nick. He said, I got tired of having to type in CD, tac ls, CD, slash, blah, blah, blah. So I made an alias to change into my last directory made. To do this, you can type in latest, colon, alias, latest equals and then quotation marks cd grave ls tac ltr pipe tail tac n one pipe awk apostrophe print dollar sign nine close that apostrophe grave and quotation marks Nick also says be very careful with your quotation marks your apostrophe and the grave as they are all different now this is so nice because you can just type latest and it goes into your last directory that you were working in that's pretty cool i like it a lot and i tested this one as well now next up is mr protocol he wrote in with this tip know what device a disk is mapped to for lshw with lshw it needs to be run as root or sudo to display accurate results lshw is a small tool tool to extract detailed information on the hardware configuration of the machine. It can report exact memory configs, firmware versions, mainboard configs, CPU versions and speed, the cache configs, bus speeds, there's so much that it can do for you. And it works on DMI capable x86 or IA64 systems and on some PowerPC machines. For example, the Power Mac G4 is known to work. 
Now, just running sudo lshw shows a whole lot of information in kind of a sort of messy layout. Now, for his purposes, he only needed to see storage devices, so he says I can pick the correct one to manage. Now, this command gives a more manageable set of data. You can type in sudo lshw tax short. This displays a nice view of the hardware and system specs. To take this even further, you can type in sudo lshw tax short and pipe that to grep dev. And this is going to show an even shorter list of devices and a quick description. Now, what do you think of these tips? Which ones work for you and which ones would you change? Make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts, or you can comment below on about what you think. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. Don't forget to check out our new show, ThreatWire, for internet privacy and security news at youtube.com slash techfeed. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist. <laughs>